Hello everyone. Here is an update about Skyreels. They just dropped another update, version 2 of their AI models. And let me tell you one of the coolest things about Skyreel V2 is, is its unique infinite length feature for video generation. Yes, you heard that right. We can make videos even longer now. But here is the kicker. This is not just for turning a single image into a long video. You can take existing videos and stretch their endings into something wild. Giving you way more creative freedom with footage you already have. To show this off, Skyrim's demoing videos with crazy lengths like this 28 second underwater scene and another 30 second clip. And honestly, it's holding up really well. Watch closely. No warping, no frozen frames, just smooth unique movement in every element, frame after frame. No weird oversaturation either. They're calling this the DF version with model weight specially tweaked for long videos. So how does it work? It uses something called diffusion forcing, a fancy term for a model that cranks out ultra long videos while still handling image to video and text to video tasks. Some of these V2 updates are already li live on Hugging Face and Model Scope with more coming soon. The text or image to video feature are pretty standard but the real star is that diffusion forcing model. That's what we are testing today. Now if you remember our last chat about frame pack, you will notice a trend. When one AI project drops a feature like long videos, others quickly follow suit. Whether they are borrowing open source tech or cooking up their own spin. Sky Reels no exception. Their diffusion forcing model supports text image to video and video to video extensions. Meaning you are not stuck with just one starting image. Now let's get into how to actually use this in Comfy UI. So first things first, you'll need to update your one video wrapper. So here is the deal. It's not in the default Comfy UI manager. You have got to install it manually via command prompt. Now go to your Comfy UI's custom node folder and open in command. Type git clone and make the repository. Once done, Go to your WAN video wrapper folder and type pip install minus r requirement.txt. So this will install all the libraries you required. So once that's done, head over to the Skyreel v2 model files. Inside that Skyreel folder, you'll see a bunch of model versions. FP8, FP16, FP32 for both v2 and the older Skyreels v2. But today we are focusing on Skyreels v2 DF 14B 540p FP8 and Skyreels v2 DF 1 13B 540p FP32. So we are comparing both of these models and for uh, 14B 540p FP8 you will need 20 GB plus uh, VRAM but for 13B 540p FP32 you will need 6 GB of VRAM. So download both of these files and save it in your Comfy UI's models diffusion models folder. So after downloading open your Comfy UI and then open the workflows. This workflow lets you generate long videos from images or extend existing clips. Alright, so let's get hands on with this workflow. First up, text to video. With the DF 1.3b model loaded, it's surprisingly simple. Just plug your prompts into the one video text encoder, be it positive or negative. Set your latent image size and pick how many frames you want. So that will be your video's length. Then there is the T-cache, CFG start 
and SLG layer guidance settings. Just follow the example values for now. So here is the key difference. Instead of the usual one video sampler, we are using the new diffusion forcing sampler. This thing has built specifically for DF models and it, it has got a sneaky trick that is prefix sampling. That's what lets you extend videos smoothly without weird jumps. And there is a pro tip. This 1.3B model runs on about 5 to 6 GB VRAM, same as SDXL. So most mid-range GPUs can handle it. Now, let's really put these models to the test with the 97 frame generation. I used the 14B model first to create this wolf walking toward the camera. And honestly, the results blew me away. The movement looks completely natural the way the wolf's paws hit the ground. The slight head movements, everything flows together so smoothly that you would never guess it was AI generated. But I wanted to see how the 13B model would handle the same task. So I ran the exact same 97 frames through it for comparison. So here is what I found. While the 13B model still produces smooth motion without any frozen frames, there is a noticeable difference in quality. The warmth of fur texture gets compressed, losing some detail and there is a slight glitchy look. The background holds up ok, but the main subject definitely suffers in quality compared to the 14B version. This caught me thinking, how can we optimize results when using the 13B model? So I ran a series of tests to figure this out. First, I tried using an image of a woman with a blurred background and only showing her from the shoulders up. But when I animated her laughing, the results were not great. The facial expressions looked unnatural and distorted. It's clear AI still sh struggles with complex facial animations, especially with the 13B model's limitations. Next, I simplified things further by using just a close-up of the face without any body or background elements. This was a big improvement. The laughter animation looked much more natural. Though still not perfect, there were still some odd twitches and moments where the expression didn't quite look human. Finally, I removed expressions altogether and just animated a neutral face. This worked beautifully, the motion was flawless with none of the uncanny valley effect we saw earlier. The takeaway here is clear. If you are working with the 13B model, simplicity is key. Fewer background elements and minimal facial expressions will give you much cleaner results. So now let me walk you through my complete video to video generation process step by step. I started with this awesome wolf animation that I originally created using image to video and now I am going to show you exactly how to extend it. The secret here is frame overlapping, specifically using 17 frame overlaps between each sampling round. So here is why this matters. When you generate video in chunks, the AI needs some context from the previous segment to make the transition smooth. By overlapping 17 frames, uh, that's about half a second at 30 fps. We give the system enough reference points to blend everything seamlessly. Without this, you would get obvious jumps or frozen frames between segments. And for my first test, I used the 13B model, which requires about 8 GB of VRAM, making it accessible for most mid-range GPUs. The results were interesting. The wolf's movement 
looked completely natural in terms of motion physics the way its paws hit the ground the weight distribution all that looked great however i did notice two limitations first the video quality was slightly compressed with some artifacts appearing in the fur detail second there were occasional glitches where the background would warp momentarily not deal breakers but noticeable if you are looking closely then i switched to the 14b model and the difference was night and day not only did it maintain the same natural motion but the image quality was significantly sharper the fur texture stayed consistent throughout and those background warping issues disappeared completely so the trick it needs more vram about 20 plus gb depending on your settings so you know that viral meme of the girl standing in front of a burning house yes the one with a million versions floating around the internet well i took that exact image and turned it into a video frame by frame using a 14b model and the coolest part this method lets me extend the video for as long as i want no limits so here is how it works i start with sampler 1 which generates the base video then sampler 2 takes the last 17 frames and continues the motion seamlessly sampler 3 repeats the process blending everything together so smoothly you would never know it it wasn't one continuous clip and guess what you can loop this forever unlimited video time for example let's say i have an image of a wolf sampler 1 makes the wolf walk sampler 2 makes it stop the next sampler lifts its head and looks around so see how that works we are building motion step by step and it never has to end but here is the thing after generating these clips we need to combine them and remove those 17 overlapping frames that keep the motion flowing that's where the real magic happens so now we have got these samplers generating clips but how do we actually combine them into one smooth video so that's where the animation workflow node comes in this node is designed to stitch everything together but here is the catch by default it only lets you add five images not super helpful when we are working with unlimited frames So I tweaked the code just a small change and suddenly you can add as many images you, as you want no more limits Now we can feed all our sampler clips into this node and let it work its magic But remember those 17 frames we used to keep the motion flowing between samplers we don't need them anymore once everything is combined that's where the mat node a minus b comes in this thing automatically finds and removes those overlapping frames leaving us with one seamless video no jumps no weird gaps just smooth endless motion and here is the best part once the video is stitched together we can send it straight to the mm audio node which generates a custom audio track to match no more silent clips this give your video a soundtrack that actually fits now after running through all those steps samplers stitching removing overlaps adding audio here is what we end up with a perfectly smooth infinitely extendable video no glitches no awkward cuts just one clean loop that can go on forever
So that's all for today's video. If you like this one, please like, share and subscribe our channel for more such content. Thank you. Bye-bye. Happy generating.